The Xbox Series S is one of the most underrated gaming consoles of all time. For the price, the performance is outstanding, and unlike the Xbox Series X and PlayStation 5, it can actually be found on store shelves. And I don't know about you, I would much rather be playing games, albeit at a slightly lower resolution, than spending my entire life looking at an Amazon out of stock page. So when put into perspective, the compromises of the Series S aren't that bad after all. For this setup, I chose a 1080p gaming monitor, even though the Series S is capable of 1440p gaming with selected titles. However, 1080p is not as bad as it sounds, because the Series S uses a technique called super sampling to create a better looking image. It does this by rendering games at a higher resolution resolution and then downscaling the image to match the output of your TV and display. So even though we're playing at a lower resolution, this creates a sharper and better looking image anyways. This monitor is an Alienware 24 inch 240Hz 1080p display. I will leave a link in the video description to the exact model. The monitor has variable refresh rate support with both G-Sync and FreeSync, along with a razor fast 1 millisecond response time, letting us get the most out of the Series S's 120fps support, perfect for competitive gamers. Even though the 240Hz panel is completely over the top for this particular gaming setup, it does provide an element of future-proofing if you were to upgrade to a gaming PC in the future. In addition, I chose this monitor as the white and futuristic design matches so well with the Xbox Series S. Unfortunately, this Alienware monitor has no internal speakers, but this is not a huge issue as we do need a gaming headset anyways for Xbox Live. For this, I chose the Steel Series Arctis 3s. These sound great for their affordable price and are very lightweight. Also, the overall mic quality is fine and they plug straight into the controller with plenty of cable length. This transitions us perfectly onto the controller. For a large majority of games, the Xbox Series S's standard controller is perfectly fine. But if you're looking to take your gaming setup to the next level, the Xbox Series Elite 2 is the ultimate option. This is the Halo Infinite limited edition version, which is much cooler than the standard black edition you usually get. I already have a full review video of the Elite Series 2 controller discussing all of its key advantages, but to summarize, you have complete customization over the thumbsticks and additional bumpers at the rear, perfect for FPS shooters. I also purchased this cool Master Chief controller stand, which is an awesome addition to this gaming setup. I've had a lot of people ask me about where I got this from, so I'll provide a link in the video description. Next, let's discuss the chair. For this, I chose the Herman Miller Sale. I already own their Logitech Embody gaming chair on my main desk setup and absolutely love it. A lot of people do say Herman Miller chairs are overpriced, but they don't consider that they do come with a 12-year warranty, meaning that I will be 33 years old the next time I need to buy and upgrade an office chair. Finally, to complete the setup, we have additional storage. The biggest weakness of the Series S is its rather small internal SSD. To resolve this, we have a one terabyte Seagate expansion card to store all of our next-gen gaming titles. Furthermore, for our backwards compatibility and last-gen games, we have a SanDisk Extreme two terabyte SSD that still provides fast drive speeds to reduce loading time and keep things feeling speedy. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe for more Xbox Series S videos, including my best budget gaming monitor review for this next-gen console coming very soon. If you want to learn more about the mentioned Xbox Series Elite 2 gaming controller, I recommend that you watch this video next.